Humanity has been using it for more than 7,000 years, for baking bread, fermenting food and beverages. But can our single-celled friends rise to a bigger task, replacing petrochemicals in our medicines, cosmetics, plastics and fuels? That's what scientists are hoping to achieve in a European research project called Chassis. They know that yeast cells can work as mini factories converting sugar into valuable chemicals. Typically, this method isn't productive enough to be viable on an industrial scale. So researchers are changing that with some genetic engineering. To make these yeasts more efficient as cell factories, what we need to do is to rewire their metabolism. We need to rewire the way in which they convert sugars into products to make sure that Almost every molecule of sugar that enters the yeast cell comes out as product. Reprogrammed yeasts can recycle agricultural crops and waste into biomolecules, which can then be used as building blocks for various components of plastics, cosmetics and other consumer goods. That means replacing petrochemicals with sustainable biological materials. In this project, we use genes sourced from plants to make a metabolite that is produced by oranges, for example. We're producing narigenin, a molecule produced by fruit trees like lemons, grapefruits or oranges. To reprogram yeast, researchers here at the Delft University of Technology are using an editing process called CRISPR. The procedure inserts genes from plants or bacteria into yeast. They can change how the cell factories work and even how they smell. We edit the DNA and we edit it, among others, one gene from a plant. And because of that, it now uh, also really smells like roses. So that your lab smells better, of course. But we are more looking into the industrial application. So we can smell this as a flavor, a flavor compound, mostly for the cosmetic uh, industry. Uh, yeah, so it's mostly perfumes, but also mascara and lipstick, they all have this flavour compound in there. Scientists will provide their results to European companies who can then bring them to the market. This means the yeast strains must be robust enough to survive and produce valuable components, not just in the lab, but also on an industrial scale. Once we have strains working at this stage, and producing enough of the chemicals under these conditions that mimic industrial conditions, we will then transfer the technology to the industry partners. And the industry partners who have access to large fermenters will then test them on pilot scale and larger scale with a view to actually developing a commercial process. This bio-based method may speed up the development of new consumer products. Innovations that could have taken up to 20 years to make it to the market can now be delivered in a couple of years. The research we're doing is important for a very wide range of biotech companies. For example, to make uh, bioplastics or other large volume products, but also for, for startup companies that want to develop uh, a new product and start out essentially from scratch and want to make a very high added value compound that you could use as a pharmaceutical, a food ingredient, an aroma compound, whatever. Although the benefits might not be obvious to customers, there are great environmental advantages of using bio like less petrochemicals. They could mean our everyday goods can become more sustainable and easier to recycle.